years, I used to drive beside, be long, along, beside, by. I used to drive by a little store called Carpenter Seed in Provo, Utah. And I really liked that store because Jesus was a carpenter. So I always kind of thought, well, that's his seed store. And I used to go in there and see all kinds of seeds. I know they have them in drawers now, but they used to have them on the wall. And it was just like maybe a library or something. They'd, but they were all these seed packets all along. And I thought to myself, self, there's a big difference between going to Carpenter Seed and going to Piggly Wiggly or Safeway or Albertsons or Ralph's or whoever. You, you skip a lot of steps. Somebody else takes those steps for you. They plant the seeds and, and harvest. Now, if you want to get carrots, you plant carrots. Duh. <laughs> the seeds don't look like carrots, but if you want carrots, you plant carrots. You don't plant carrots and hope for melons. Doesn't work that way. And if you want a tomato, you plant a tomato seed. You don't plant a cabbage seed and then hope and pray that you'll get a tomato. I guess it's kind of a, a weird analogy, but you can't put things in your heart and your mind that aren't good and still expect good things to come out, kind things to say to people, uh, love and charity for them. You have to plant the kind of things in your heart and in your mind that make you who you are.